eat with an egg that he knows to say, he knows the best that he knows to say, and the shell. The shell. My fine shell. And he doesn't like the way he's made with kicking, and he doesn't like the way he's the straw was sticking to a shell. The shell. My fine shell. Humpty Dumpty's on the wall, he's been up there all day. Bob's afraid he's gonna fall, he just wants to say, Yes, you know what to do, I know what to see. What you see, what you see, what you see. And friends are saying, you know what to you can't do that, you know what to say to Michelle. Michelle, my shine cell. They climb to the wall and you know the wall and they don't really think it's gonna have a spot in the shell. The shell, bye bye the shell. Humpty Dumpty's on the wall, he's been up there all day. Mom's afraid he's gonna fall, but he just wants to stay. They ask him why I did this, I didn't want to see. What you see, what you see, what you see. The friends are standing all the day. The friends are standing all the day. Go, Humpty. Go, Humpty. Go, 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 go. And he fell on his wall. He fell off right off on the wall. And he cracked. He cracked. He cracked his shell. And it wasn't a bad thing. It was the cheating of a chicken. Like the other day to his shell. The shell. The butterfly shell. Humpty Dumpty's on the wall. He's been up there all day. Bob's afraid he's gonna fall. He just wants to stay. Now he knows he's gonna fly. He's gonna fly away. He's gonna fly away. Fly away. That's true. Everyone will, every kid will eventually break their shells, grow up, grow up and be on their own. Leave home and be on their own. Is that true? My serious note. On a serious note, there are certain rules you should follow while you have a prison. You only milk off the wolf's spoil. Put it in the fridge or bag at the pool and sack. And put your garbage in a garbage can. I can't stress it up. This will throw it out of the window. Prepare yet, recycle your garbage. I can't stress that enough. Just don't throw it on the ground or out the window. And anyway, let's get to the next cartoon. There we go. Come in. Good morning, Doctor. I brought you today. Thank you, my dear. Oh, you know, seeing you every day gives me a great deal of pleasure. If I must say so myself, you are a masterpiece. <laughs> Why, Dr. Frankenstein? <clears throat> We've received replies from almost all you invited. Dracula, Werewolf, Dr. Jekyll, the Hunchback. Creature. But we haven't received a reply from from it. Well, I should hope that we don't. You see, it wasn't invited. Oh. It was a crushing bore at our last convention. It kept walking around, crushing boars, wild boars in its hands. Very frankly, Francesca, it disgusts even me. I see. Doctor. We also received a very strange letter from someone who says he's arriving on the 13th. A Felix Blanken? He's coming? Oh, that is good news. What else does he write? Looking forward to meeting all those fun people at your resort. Resort? Fun people? He doesn't mean Dracula and the werewolf, surely. Yes, yes, go on, go on. Can hardly wait to dip into the pool in the front of your resort and lie on your beautiful beach. Doctor, does he know about the crocodiles in the lagoon and the quicksand on the beach? Who or what is this Plankin? Oh, don't be alarmed, my dear. Felix Plankin is a mere human, and he's unaware of the nature of our little gathering. But he also happens to be my nephew. Your nephew? I thought you had no living. Felix is the child of my youngest sister. She turned out to be the white sheep of the family. Oh, too bad. She had a great flair for witchcraft. But then she met this traveling medicine man, Chuck Blanco, in Transylvania. And she eloped with him and went to the United States to live. They're both gone now, but their son, Felix, is my only relative and heir. 
But why are you inviting him to this convention? Because, my dear, I'm, I'm retiring. Yes? Oh, don't look so unbelieving. I've grown a little tired of this horror business, doing bad for others and very rarely getting any bad in return. But now that I've blasted my greatest discovery, I'd like to retire while I'm on top. I shall turn over all my secrets to Felix, including my last great one, and then present him to the convention as my successor. One o'clock. Ah, the French should be tramping on their way to the island right about now. I'll still have to see to their accommodations. You tidy up in here. Oh, I do hope you like Felix Flanken when you meet him. I want you two to be friends. Felix Flanken. Like him. I love him to pieces. Passengers till that funny guy from London, what's his name? Dr. Jekyll. Dr. Jekyll? <laughs> That's odd. He told me his name was Mr. I. Oh, what's the difference in pain and tear? Get this load and aboard the ship. Oh, Captain. The crew jumped ship. What? No crew? Well, I did Shanghai a few lads last night, but this still in the hell sleep it off. Hey, what? Look at this. What the toy brought in. <laughs> What's that, mate? You are the sign to board the passage to the Isle of Evil? <laughs> well, we just may have room for another hand on board, <laughs> but we're not going to the Isle of Evil. Get this loaded aboard the ship. <laughs> Can you tell me the path to the Isle of Eve? Another one. And we don't usually stop at the Isle of Eve. That'll be a hundred bucks. And with your fancy cape and tuxedo and all, I think you can afford it. Considering the dilapidated condition of my wallet, <laughs> your ship, I think I have better fly. I should play a tricks on me. Did you see what I think I saw, Captain? If I saw what you think you saw, I'd say we were both going back. Uh, pardon me, gentlemen, but does this pickled herring stop at the Isle of Evil? Blimey, it's another one of them. We'll stop. Don't worry. We we'll do what you want. No charge for you. Be my guest, but please. None of your surprises. <coughs> God, what's the matter with those two? Haven't they ever seen a chorus before? Oh, I can't stand a woman crying. Uh 
I'll have to get an extra pair of glasses out of my luggage. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, but I lost my glasses and can't see a thing. <laughs> I've heard that one before. Invite our passengers to dine with me. Oh, you sure you want to do that, Kip? Go on. Coming or going, do you yet? I think so. 
so exciting, Doctor. I haven't seen all of our old friends in years. I'm just nervous, excited, and nervous. Let's try not to go to pieces yet. Doctor, a group of the convention party has just arrived. Good. Thank you, Francesca. Everyone to his post. We must make certain that it does not get onto the island. To your checkpoint. Lovable creature, how much I've wanted to touch you. Take your hands away from me. <whistles> you creep. She noticed me <laughs> for the first time. She noticed me. She... Well, have I got a story to 